yeah hi so today we will be starting with the, uh, the topic of list slider how we are going to make a list slider in jquery so making a list slider slider first of all you have to make a unordered list or an ordered list in that ordered list i am writing li as list one let's have um, we have 10 list so here is the 10 list i am assigning a class to the list that is menus so i am going to save this file save uh, i am giving this name as a list slider.html I'm giving its title name as list slider. So I have attached a jQuery in my file. As if I have, I'm seeing my folder, it's the jQuery file is present here. And uh, the link of file is being embedded in this. So starting with the jQuery part, first of all, uh, dollar. Then I'm writing function over here. So just before starting, we can have a test that everything is working fine or not. So I'm just writing hello to jQuery that will check that uh, it's working or not. So great, it's working. So now this list has been came here. So what I'm going to do here is like, first of all, we can just have a little, we can add a little style to a jQuery list so the menus is the class that i have assigned to the unordered list so the menus uh, here we can do is list style none so what does it happen is that it's gone then i can just move it to move margin 100 pixels which so is just came here in the send most probably the center of the page the font family Arial font size 13 pixel so here it comes then what I'm going to do here is I'm writing here is menus and inside all ally means all allies that are present in menus I'm tag I'm targeting now the whole ally so here I'm just like doing the background color red and the color white so background is a background color so this way it will come in then i'm writing here is padding what does padding means padding is a uh, the difference the distance with between the text and the border of that particular text in which it has been written so if i am i am specifying here padding is 20 pixel so what is the effect of this is it will be just like having 20 pixel from left side 20 pixels from top 20 from right and 20 from bottom right so here it comes in this way and uh, we can have a border bottom of solid one pixel and color so solid is a type of border one pixel is a width of border and the color the specified color so the, here it goes now what i am going to do here is i am specifying a height of a, my ul let it be height of 145 pixel so 145 pixel is the height and after 145 pixel everything everything in the list will be hidden so here it goes uh, we can have a height of 155 pixel and let it be 180 pixel so that uh, uh, we can go here with 200 pixel 230 okay so 220 we can do so that list four is completely displayed on to my screen so here's the style uh, that i have applied to the list so now what i'm going to do here is i'm just applying a set interval show function show function will be called after every two second so here i'm going to write here this function show so what i'm going to do here is i'm declaring a variable type txt and this what i'm going to do like 
what I am referring is the menus, the UL with the class menus, and in menus there is li and li. Li is first element. So first is basically the function that is picking up the first element of a list means it will be picking list to one so what I am be picking here is I am picking its text over there so list one is a text this text will be coming in txt variable then what I am going to do here is like menus allies first element dot remove so what it will be doing here is it will be picking up list one in the variable named txt then it will be remo removing this list element from here and in the last what I am going to do here is menus dot append li here I will be writing here is txt okay so the program is ready let's have a look on the output so see after two second list one is been hidden over there and the list two is hidden now the list four now from where the list one will be coming back it will be like appending on the last of the list see list one is been again coming now the list two is coming so in this way all the list is been scrolled from top to bottom the first list is removed its text has been copied that particular text is appended in the last of a particular diff so let's let have a look on a code in detail once more so this is my code what it's doing is menus it's a menu then I am referring to the ally and then I have applied a condition that I want to refer the first ally so ally first now if I am going to refresh the page the first is a like uh, let's have a five second space so open in browser so see after five second what it will be happening is that list one text will be covered in will be goes in txt right and after the list one text is been covered in txt then the menu with the list with first element will be removing from there the text is has copied in txt then the list one is removed from here then the menu menu dot append what it will doing is this is a ul this will be appended with one ally that is having a current text means list one was a current text that is hold that it was holding in this txt variable so that txt that list one will be appended to the last of the menus so this is all about the list slider that is being made in the jquery so this way it will be just revolving again and again uh, the first part of the list will be appended to the last part thanks for watching there are more to there are more sliders to come